I want you to go over another document. It is called Distractions from Satan and His Demons. Here we go. These are some distractions Satan and his demons may deploy. Deploy while you are in a group setting or while you're praying, counseling, or doing anything that pertains to God. You may think it is a coincidence, but there is no such thing as a coincidence. You will find that everything happens for a reason. Take your mind off the earthly realm and think spiritually. We are spirit in a human mode. Our flesh is our earthly garment. Dying is just a transitioning from this cursed world to another realm, hell or heaven. To get back on track, I will list distractions Satan and his demons will deploy. Number one, phones will ring and continue to ring. Satan wants you to answer the phone. Why? When you get distracted, the atmosphere changes. At first, your surroundings is saturated with the Spirit of God. Satan wants to throw off your momentum. Yes, momentum is very important. So ignore phone calls when you are worshiping <clears throat> or praying to God. Number two, babies and toddlers will cry or seek for your attention. Yes. This is no coincidence at all. Yes, your babies or toddlers will be entertaining themselves for a very long time. Right when you are trying to worship, then the baby or toddler decides to want your attention then. Coincidence? Never. This is another tactic Satan uses. Satan can't possess a baby, I guess but he can manipulate the atmosphere. Will make the baby think they need you now. When you are done worshiping, you will find that your baby quiets down, not trying to seek for your attention as aggressively as before. Number three, when you are seeking God earnestly, you may feel an extremely evil presence in your midst. You may start to hear random noises. Things may randomly fall down. Things of this nature may happen. Satan and his demons are trying to frighten slash intimidate you. Demons don't want you to know the truth. They don't. Why? The truth will set you free. It is your option to get yourself out of bondage after learning the truth. If you get scared, then turn off any video that pertains to God or stop reading the Bible. The spirit slash spirits will just manifest more. It's like a roach infestation. If you don't exterminate them now, more will just show up. Keep learning no matter what demons try to do. Demons are like fleas. If you give in to them, they can be like roaring lions. Number four, you start to feel random pains, exhaustion, or any other uncomfortable feelings. When you intend to go to church or do anything for God, this can be easily remedied. Just pray and declare healing upon your body. Works for me. Satan is, Satan is casting pain upon you to discourage you from doing things for God. If you continue through the pain, you will most definitely reach higher levels in God. You will operate more in God's power. Remember, God allows Satan to tempt us, but he always provides a way of an escape. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. Number five, suicidal thoughts, depression, low self-esteem along with other things randomly arise in me strongly i am randomly being criticized by people sometimes by people who i don't know feels like everything i do and touch fails not me but this is the example here you are definitely under demonic attack demons are trying to kill you this can happen to saved 
righteous people as well as sinners. If you are saved, righteous, these people, these problems are temporary. With sinners, this may be temporary, yet you will carry fragments of these situations. Sin is a weight which becomes heavier the more you engage in it. There is always a breaking point. Of course, there are many more distractions. You can list your own as well. So I want you all to look at this video here. I have the link in red. So watch this on YouTube. This is the end of the document. God bless.